Hi, Russ of Aquarium X Pets here. Cubaris species Cappuccino is a unique isopod, but I've never kept it myself, so I decided to collaborate with someone who has had experience and success with this species, Cheyenne of PodSolo.com. So, Cheyenne, please introduce this species for us. Hey, Russ, how are we doing out there? All right, so here is the Cubaris Cappuccino. These guys come from Thailand. Um, they have a coffee and cream coloration, as you can see here, giving them their cappuccino name. Uh, they get about half inch to three quarter inch in size. Um, they have a kind of smaller broods like a lot of Cubaris species, but they do produce a little bit faster than, say, rubber duckies, if you have any experience with those. Now, could you tell us about the setup and husbandry for this species? As for substrate and whatnot, we got going on here in this enclosure, we got the, the live soil that I sell on my website. Uh, the ventilation is pretty minimal, um, as they do like a lot of humidity, but they do not like it wet. I keep a moisture gain of about 50-50, uh, you know, moisture 50% of it, and uh, let it kind of dry out on the other the other half. If you're comfy, they're comfy as far as temperature goes. And as for hides and whatnot, they do enjoy a lot of leaf litter and their cork bark quite a bit. What do you feed your cappuccinos? For foods, I keep these guys eating rapashi, zucchini, cucumber, small amounts of protein as it doesn't seem like in my experience that they really go after protein like crazy, uh, but they do eat it. So I do give them uh, some fish flake occasionally as well as um, some dried minnows. Before Cheyenne tells us more about Cubaris species cappuccino, I'd like to thank my patrons. Your support makes a big difference in what we are able to do here at Aquarimax Pets, and I appreciate that support. With your monthly donation, as little as one US dollar per month, you can help support the channel and I do what I can to share information about some of the beautiful and fascinating creatures with which we share our planet Earth. If you'd like to help, please click the link in the description or at the end of the video. And now back to Cubaris species Cappuccino. How would you rank this species in terms of ease of care? Uh, they're fairly easy to take care of for the most part. I haven't really had any die off issues or anything like that. Would you keep these in a bioactive and what about their pet potential? They would probably work in a bioactive, although they're pretty high priced. They're still fairly rare in the uh, hobby, so I probably wouldn't put them in a bioactive situation. However, they do make excellent pets. They do make a great addition into any collection if you are a collector. For those who would like more information about Cubara species cappuccino or other isopods that you keep and breed, how will they contact you? You can check me out on podsolo.com and hit me up on Facebook or Instagram if you have any questions about Cuberus Cappuccino. Thanks, Russ, for having me on the show today. You're welcome, Cheyenne, and thank you. I should mention that Cheyenne also has a YouTube channel, and here's a link to one of his recent videos. The video you're watching now is part of a growing playlist of species-specific guides so be sure to check out the rest of the playlist. And thanks for watching. I post videos every Friday with live streams on Wednesdays, all about aquarium and vivarium pets with lots of isopod content. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then tap the bell and choose notifications all so you don't miss my next video.